we are looking at the library database Credo Reference. Credo Reference is an excellent database to go to uh, to begin your research. Uh, maybe you have a topic and you just need some background information to get yourself going and uh, researching it, or maybe you're looking for a topic. Uh, Credo is a great place to find out what some of the possibilities might be for your research. Uh, what it is, is a collection of about 600 reference books that you might find in a library. And when I talk about reference books, I'm talking about things like encyclopedias, dictionaries, biographies, quotation books, that kind of thing. Um, so this is the kind of information you might uh, go to Wikipedia for, for example. Uh, but the material that you're going to find in Credo is from published, edited, reviewed sources that are generally seen as more appropriate sources to cite in an academic uh, level paper. So we start out on our search screen here and I can search for a topic. Let's say I have a paper to write on a topic related to communication. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with that, but I know I'm interested in the idea of communication uh, in families. So maybe I just type in something as simple as family communication and search. And I come up with a wide range of results, uh, more than 4,000 results in fact. And as I look through these, I see they come from a wide range of sources. Um, Encyclopedia of Insects, Family Communication, uh, some look like they're historical, having to do with immigration, psychology. I scroll through these, uh, communication in prisons with family members. Um, so a really wide range of possibilities that maybe I wouldn't have thought of. Uh, I can browse through these if I'd like, or I can narrow my search a little bit. If I know that I'm interested in communication in families, uh, say the psychology of uh, communication in families, maybe I want to click on that link to narrow my search a little bit. Now my results are going to be kind of a mix of things. Some of them might be articles, some of them might be uh, more brief uh, dictionary definitions. If I know that I want to look at articles, which will give me a little more information, I might limit my search that way as well. And as I look through these results, if I find something that looks interesting, I can click on it. And that takes me into the article. I'll kind of scroll through here and see what this article is about. It might give me uh, just the right uh, background information to get my research started. As I scroll down to the bottom of this article, I'll see that there's other information here that might be useful to, to me as I uh, move on into the next steps of my research. Uh, first of all, they give me ideas for further reading. So I may uh, be able to look up some of these resources, books and other articles, to go a little bit more in depth into my research. If I decide that there's something useful in this article that I've just read and I want to cite it, they give me a little help in doing that down here. And because Credo is a collection of so many reference works, sometimes it gets a little confusing what you're actually looking for, looking at. So this citation helps you. It, it shows us that we're looking at an article called Family and Culture in the Encyclopedia of Applied Psychology that we uh, retrieved through this database. So that can be helpful. To show you one other thing that Credo offers. I'm going to scroll back to the top of the screen. If you're a visual learner, uh, this concept map might be something that you find interesting. I click on that. That gives you another way to search for your topic. I'm going to click on search. And what it does is it creates a visual map of the various topics related to what I've typed in. Uh, so you can see it kind of centers around this idea of communication and uh, shows relationships among topics. So maybe if I click on uh, this one, Family and Culture, you'll see it sort of reorganizes that concept map again, developing it around that center node. Um, if I see an entry here that looks like it's interesting to me, I can scroll over it and it brings up a little definition. And then it also gives me an opportunity to jump into the article through that little pop-up box. And so once again, we are taken to this article. So that's the concept map, another feature of Credo that you might find useful. If you have questions about using Credo or about finding uh, beginning or background information for your research topic, please contact the Library Reference Desk.